Dolphins, dolphins, dolphins. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Love, love, love. You, you, you. Show me if you're ready for today's lesson. Let's um, focus on our learning targets because the learning target is going to tell us about what we're learning today. So, Alice up here. Hmm. Remember that what we said this morning the more we read, the better we get. So, let's see if you can read. The learning targets for me today. I know some of the words are hard. But what is a good reader strategy? What is a good reading strategy if you don't know the word? Sound it out. You could sound it out. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. That would be a good one if we had a book, Franca. But we don't have a book here. So we could sound it out. We can also sometimes even skip the word and go on to the next word and see if you can understand what's going on. But I'm here to help you. So let's focus up here. And I want to, let's see if you, did all of you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> okay, let's see if you can read the personal standard to me. Okay? So we need everybody's help because some of the words are hard. But I know you can do it. So I sit here. I can make the So let's follow um follow Vasaki. Ready? Go. Wash me hand. Thank you, Vasa. Miss Oshita is too old for that one. You folks have to teach me that one. Okay, learning target number two. Ready? Eyes up here. I like how everybody's looking. I can describe, describe what was a Why? Why? Why important. important. I will use the word here. Make a connection. What is this first? Essential. Essential. No, not question. This does this word look like this word? Mm. No. Starts with mm, vocabulary. vocabulary. Complete. Complete sentences when, when. share 
sharing our science unit on measurement. Good job. Let's give ourselves a wow cheer. Ready? <laughs> Good job. Okay, so our first learning target says I can name the three personal standards and give an example of each. And you know that we, our class, created our own three personal standards song. So let's quietly stand up. We found the background music for this song. So I'll just play the beginning and then we can get started and read and sing our three personal standards song. Oh, we're not okay. going to do the actions. Yeah, we're going to do the actions. So let's just listen first. Our three personal standards our three personal standards can you or I or anyone know our three personal standards Tell mom and dad what these um, tools are. The next one, you're going to look at the thermometer and you're going to tell me what's the temperature. So write the temperature in the square. So I'm looking for somebody who's going to get a literacy award. The next one is, it says we're going to record the weather for one week. So on Sunday, you're going to tell me if it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, windy, stormy on Tuesday. And so for the whole week, eyes up here, you're going to tell me what the weather is. And then we're going to look at it and we're going to see, Javier, if there's a pattern. And then the last one, it says circle all the weather words. So Chile, I want you to listen really carefully. There's a lot of weather words. And I like the way you are sitting, you're paying attention, and you are focusing. Is banana, is that a weather word? No. no. So would we cross, would we circle that? No, we're going to cross it out. So those of you who are making good decisions, solving problems, and sure showing sure. respect, So, okay. So, to 
of weather. We learned about all different kinds of weather. Sunny weather, we learned about the hurricane, we learned about storms, and we also learned this word. Who can recall what this word was? James? Drought. Mm, kind of close. We did talk about drought last week. What is the word, what is the weather word when it's really hot? And there's no wind. You can you humid. Can you say it with me? Humid. This is humid. Today doesn't feel humid. I think there's a little wind. But anyways, we're going to be using different. We're going to be learning about different kinds of tools, and we're going to be learning about how different scientists use these tools. Today, we're going to focus on our first tool. And later on, I'm going to explain a little bit about our other tools. But tomorrow and in the next two weeks, we're going to be learning about different tools. But today, this is our first tool. So I'm going to quickly draw just a minute. Quickly draw our first tool. And in our first tool, I have to. This part right here, and if you can look over here, I didn't even know this. This in the middle is a glass tube. So right here, right here, I'm going to write the word glass tube. Glass tube. So this is what it looks like. I wanted to show you what it kind of looks like. Of course the glass tube is not this big, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So there's a glass tube, and inside the glass tube, inside this tube right here, is another tube. So I'm going to use my straw to show you what that looks like. So there's another tube inside there. This tube, which is called the bulb, there's, this, there's a red thing on the bottom. This one is blue, but usually it's red. There's a bulb on the bottom, but inside the bulb, has a, there's a red liquid. So when it gets really hot, the liquid go up. will go up. Okay. So I'm going to make believe this is the liquid. So when it gets really hot, the up. liquid will go higher and higher and higher. When it gets cold, the liquid will go down. The liquid is contained in this bulb right here. So once again, there's a this is you see this glass tube. This is kind of like my glass tube, and inside that tube is another yeah. tube which is called the bulb. And that holds the mercury. So the red liquid is called mercury. Can you say that with me? Mercury. So, so let's label that. First of all, let's write the word tools because these are all measurement tools. So there's the glass tube, and on the bottom is the ball. So when it gets really hot, like right said, the mercury, I'm going to put this in the watch, the mercury starts to rise. It starts to rise. And it's hotter and hotter and hotter. So it starts, usually it starts about here, zero, but it can go lower. So if it was zero degrees, it's really cold. Where my daughter, goes to school and this is Carter next week it said it's going to be here one degrees that's cold 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 where we live right now it's about 80 degrees how do I know where to stop 
on the side, this is how I know where to stop. On the side is called the scale. Can you see that? Scale. Yeah. So the numbers, when we look at the Fahrenheit, the numbers start at zero. This is called the scale, all the numbers. So it starts with 10, and they count by tens. And all of us know how to count by tens. How do we count by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Just like that, the thermometer counts by tens. Why do you think it doesn't count by ones? Because if we count it by ones, it would be, it would, if we had to write the number, I think it would be it's just too crowded. So if, in order to make it easier, they count by tens. But all of these numbers here is called the scale. Scale. So once again, this is the glass tube and the red part that has the mercury in it is called the glass bulb. The glass bulb. So, so once again, here's the glass tube and this would be the glass bulb and this red thing, this red thing right here, which is a liquid, is called the mercury. So the mercury, like I said, if it's really hot, then the mercury would go high. If, it, if it's not, it will go down. And later on, this week, we're going to make a homemade thermometer. So I'm going to show you that, what that looks like. And when you go home, you can um, make one too. But I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass out a thermometer. It's not a real thermometer, it's a make-believe thermometer, but I want you to practice reading a thermometer. So you look at the scale on the side and wherever the mercury stops is what the temperature is. So this would be, how hot? 60 degrees. How hot would this be? 20 degrees. So what I want you to do, you and your partner are going to look at the details. Just like in reading, in science we're going to look at all the details of the thermometer, even if it's not a real one. And I want you to practice reading the thermometer. And then I want you to look at the bulb. I want you to look at the scale. And I want you to look to see where the glass tube would go. Okay? So partners, with your partner. You can go a little bit and here you can go. So with your partner, I want you to practice reading the thermometer. I want to hear you. A good partners would be talking to each other.
probably short can think of a, a song for you to stretch your body. How about the mom uh, exercise? I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Well, how about we tall? Just a how about exercise? That's what we're doing. Are you exercising? Stretch yeah, your Yeah, exercise is like this. Oh, okay. Maybe later. Okay, ready? One more time. I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Tall, and tall, tall. Show me tall. Here is my glass tube. Here is my bulb. When I get all steamed up, then I'll shout. It's 100 degrees, so don't go out. Because when it's 100 degrees, when it's 100 degrees, would you want to go outside? No, really. Or 1,000 degrees. One more time. 1,000. Ready? I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Here is my glass tube, here is my ball. When I get a steam up, then I'll shout. It's 100 degrees, so don't go out. So I'm going to give you So what I want you to do is we're going to you're gonna just grab the basket, you're gonna take this thermometer and you're gonna take the ink weight mercury. So please make sure that you don't bend it. If not, it's not gonna work. Yes. And what I so we don't forget how to make it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a temperature. So I'm going to show you a card. And you are going to show me on your thermometer what that looks like. Okay, so grab the basket. Take one thermometer and take one mercury. Get on the lights. Yeah, I'm liking a hot dog. Jake, she can turn the air. Thank you for waiting nicely, Kaden. You're 
awesome, Peter. Peter, always paying always attention. I know. Always paying attention, always listening. Always being yeah, nice to other people. Oh, yeah. There's two more. It's fuzzy. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your mercury and you're going to put it in your thermometer, the thermometer I made. So as you can see, there is our make-believe glass tube, our make-believe glass tube. So I want you to put your, your mercury in there. You have to put it from the bottom. You see the red dot? You put it in from the bottom. So eyes up here. So start putting it in, um, Marina. If you need help, I'm more than happy to help you. Thank you for waiting quietly, Jaython. Jaython, you're having an awesome day today. Eyes up here. Show me 50 degrees. Antoinette, 50 degrees. Is it 50? Is it 11? 50. So you're gonna stop right here. Is it 1100? It's super hot. Oh, I don't think it would never be 1100. 50. So you're gonna stop right here. 50. A little bit more down. 50. Good job, Richard. Let's go to 50. That's right. Okay, the next one. Twenty degrees. Cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold is right, Ty Taylor. Cold, cold, cold. You have to stop right at that line. Good job, good job, good job. 20? Is that 20? You're going to look at the one that says okay. Yes, good job. Next one. Zero. Yeah. Nasalo used to be in my classroom who is in kindergarten. Wow. Yeah. No, no, no. 
Just like Kate and I always call him Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my brother. Hey, I can have Robert in my class. Um, what about Bonnie? Yes, I have Bonnie. Mm -hmm. No, Robert and, was, uh, no, used to be kindergarten. Or yeah, Peter? Eyes, eyes, eyes. Or Peter? Me. So I said we're going to talk about later on this week and next week we're going to talk about other tools, other measurement tools. So I want you to just quickly look at the tools. I'm not going to explain it in detail because we're going to be doing that in the next two weeks. But if you look it over here, this is called an anemometer. Can you see that? An anemometer is a tool to measure how fast the wind is moving. One more time, say it to the lights. Anemometer. Say it to your nose. Anemometer. Say it to your hand. Anemometer. So the anemometer is going to measure the speed of the wind to see how fast or slow. This is called a weather balloon. So what the weather balloon does it goes above the Earth's surface. So here's Earth, Javier, and it goes above the Earth's surface and it records the weather. So it takes pictures. There's nobody in the weather balloon, but it takes pictures of the different kind of weather. It's this weather, over here. The water stuff. Oh, how did you know? This is a water. This is to collect water. Here's our homemade one because I'm going to have you be a meteorologist and you're going to be recording our weather at our weather station. So the person who collects or, or shares the weather with us is called a meteorologist. So the meteorologist is going to tell us how much rain. So we're going to talk to Mr. Jerry. This is how much rain was collected at my house the other day. So it says one inch of rain. But we're going to dump this out and we're going to find the place at Kaivai to see how much rain has, how, ma how much rain has fallen. This is called a rain gauge. Can you say that? Rain, rain, rain gauge. gauge. So this is a big rain gauge. This is to collect a lot of water over a long period of time. This is not, this is not big enough to collect it for a long time, but this one will. Okay. And then this is called a barometer. Can you say barometer? Barometer. And a barometer is a tool that measures air pressure. So a rising barometer means that it'll be sunny. It'll be a sunny day. A rainy? No, just a sunny day. And a falling barometer means rainy. it's going to be rainy and stormy the opposite. Oh. Okay. So the person who studies that, like I said, is the meteorologist. Like Guy Hoggy. <laughs> like Guy Hoggy. Okay. So if you go on, if you watch TV, Guy Hoggy, like Taylor said, will tell us what kind of weather we have. So let's put that up here. And Guy Hoggy is what we call a scientist. A scientist. So let's label that over here. Oops. He's a scientist and he studies, he uses web he uses weather measurement tools to Is study that? the um, um, weather. So I'm gonna put the word scientist up here. So eyes up here, I'm going to we are, we're going to watch Guy Hoggy yeah, yeah, yeah. for a little while and he's going to show, I'm going to show you what happens on the news. This is Hawaii Weather Now with Guy Hoggy. Trickle is still pouring at a good pace over on Maui and that's why the guys were ripping it up on it. Keep up, but those treatments are on their way out. Hello and good evening everyone. Get ready for a, a round of corner wind weather. That means elevated humidity levels. Maybe poor air quality for the whole clock might start to move in and make some isolated afternoon shower. So now the trade wind uh, path continues, and that's why we are seeing those clouds move in from the east. But notice uh, there's not a lot of rain today, much drier.
than yesterday. Still, there were occasional wet spots here and there, although right now, things have dried up quite nicely. Here in a moment, we didn't get much rain at all. Even the overnight and early morning showers didn't amount to very much. And here's the situation right now. It's very, very dry. And over the last couple of days, we've had those windward and mountain showers along the Kola mountain range. But by tomorrow, as those Kona winds pick up, we'll see that cloud buildup and the rain won't focus right here in the interior spot of the island, although some uh, other spots could get some afternoon showers as well. And you can see tremors still hanging on at uh, you know good speeds, about 10 to 15 miles an hour for most spots. But uh, by tomorrow, these east northeasterlies will switch to south southeasterlies. So for tonight, so when you go home today and watch the news, that you might see Guy Hagi or another meteorologist sharing the weather. So why would we want to know what the weather is, right, Cuff? Why would we want to know? Because um, the the big um um, um, okay, so Raika said we would want to know because if there's going to be big waves, we need to make sure that our house is safe. And if we know that there's big waves, would it be a good idea to go to the beach that day? No, so it's really important to know what the weather is. If we have severe weather, Javier, Guy Hagi will let the civil defense know and the civil events is a group of people who try to um, find ways to communicate with all of us about the different weather. Okay. So this is called, this is a group of people. It's called civil defense. And if, let's say there's a hurricane, they're going to let us know there's a hurricane. Please, um, let's say, take care of your house. Make sure you board up the um windows make sure you put tape on the windows and that's and what the civil know. defense will help us to and keep safe what is that there is what about the roof put tape on the roof i wish you could put tape on the roof i used to live on the island of Kauai when there was a hurricane and no matter what we did we put tape on the windows and that did help because the glass didn't fall in fall up in and cut us but we couldn't do anything with the roof. The roof flew right off. Yeah. But the civil defense, the meteorologist and the civil defense, they let us know so that we could get prepared. Here are some pictures of the real tools that people use, Jay thought, to measure the weather. So here is something that they use in space to measure the kind of weather that we have so then they can warn us. And same thing, here's the um, big rain gauge. And I think this is a military man. And he wants to land his plane, but he needs to make sure where he, the plane is landing or the helicopter it's a good place. So he's trying to check the weather. He's trying to check the weather to see if it's a good idea or not. And we've been studying hurricanes. We did our science project on hurricanes. This is an airplane. He, they fly into the hurricane to find out what's going on, to let the people know. So there's different scientists at work telling us all about the weather. So I here, we're going to look at our, hear their chant on weather and measurement of weather. So my turn, your turn. So you can stand up. And I thought it's my good choices. You're smart boy, I know you can make good choices. Ready? Measuring weather here. Measuring weather here. Measuring weather there. Measuring weather there. Different types of measurement. Different types of measurement. Everywhere. Everywhere. Busy meteorologists. Busy meteorologists. Forecasting. Forecasting. Forecasting means that they're predicting, they're making a good guess about the weather. Rising barometers. Rising barometers. Measuring. Measuring. 
mercury thermometers. Remember, this is the mercury. Mercury thermometers. Mercury And rain gauges overflowing. And rain gauges overflowing. Measurement above. Show me above. Above the earth. Measurement on the rooftop. Measurement. Show me a hurricane. Uh, measurement. In, here's your plane in the hurricane. And measurement at Kai Vai School. One more time. Measurement here. Measurement here. Measurement there. Measurement there. Different types of measurement. Different types of measurement. Everywhere. Measurement, measurement, measurement. Well, those of you who are trying your best, thank you. If you make good choices and um, do your best, what happens? You'll get smarter. So if you're playing and you're not participating, are you can't, is that doing your best? No. no. And who should be telling you? Me brain. or your? Oh, no. right. Come, on. Come your own brain wasn't telling you then. Yeah. Do your work, do your best, and make good choices. He was doing Okay, let's see. Today when we go to learning labs, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to be doing. So, pay attention. Bought these special pens. These special pens. In the morning, I want you to record the weather. So these special pens. These special pens can actually work on glass. So I, I take the picture on the back. So you can you can circle it in the front. Okay. And then if it's a sunny weather then you would draw a circle here. If it's stormy, you would draw one circle there. Just like our graph over here. Do we start at the bottom or the top? Bottom. Same thing this time. The top the bottom. Okay. So here are our labs. The microwave pasta is looking. And the Jita is sitting nicely. You show Javier how to sit nicely. Javier can turn your body around so you can see. Okay, at the iPad lab, here are the steps. I want you to read the directions. Number one, you're going to find the icon, find the YouTube icon, and you're going to be watching reading a thermometer video for children to learn, and then you're going to be singing a thermometer song. I want you to look for the YouTube and look for these two. Can you choose something else? No, no just the thermometer one. Okay. Learning Log Lab. You're going to read the directions. Always read the directions. You see the arrow? You're going to read the directions. In complete sentences, I want you to answer the questions. I'm not going to read the questions to you. I know you can do it. If you can read the hard words here, I, you can read the hard words on that um, learning log lab. And then you can draw a thermometer. Don't forget, your, your words have to match your illustrations. So you can't write about a thermometer and draw Chuck E. Cheese on the side, because does that match? No. The art lab, you're going to create a thermometer just like the one that I created for you. There's some tape over there, there's a straw, and you have to cut it out. So, same thing. Okay. And then it says um, insert the red pipe cleaner, which is our mercury, in the middle and practice reading the thermometer. When you're done, right, cup. When you're done, you can complete the temperature worksheet. In the science lab, you're gonna get the container of ice from the freezer. Fill half the container with water. 
And then there's a little thermometer at your lab. Insert the thermometer, and I want you to observe what's happening to the thermometer. And then when you're done, you can complete the worksheet on recording the temperature of the thermometer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these directions at your lab. So please do not start until you read the directions. The directions are really important. And when we're at our labs, don't forget our three personal standards. And what are the three personal standards? Be safe, be responsible, and show respect. One more time, what is this? Show, show respect. respect. What would that look like if you're showing respect at a lab? Javier, if you're at your lab, and let's say there's only one crayon box, what would you do to show respect? Let's say there's only one box, what would you do? And you and Jathan need crayons, what would you do to show respect? Jathan, what would you do? There's only one box of crayons, but both of you need crayons, what would you do? Solve your problem. How would you solve that problem? Can you think helpful? What would you do? Share. Share. Just share the crayons. So show respect. Be nice to people. If someone asks, can I borrow your red? Show respect. Let them borrow. Mom, borrow. Making good decision. What is a really good decision to make when you're at your labs? What is the Do your work. Really important to do your work. Because if you're busy talking, will you be able to have fun and learn? No. And if you come across a problem, let's say, Taylor, you lost your paper, what would you do? Get another one. Before you get another one, what should you do? Look for it. If you don't have it, just get it. If you just can't find it. Let's see who is ready for labs. <coughs> right call Alicia and Marie iPad Art Lab Kaden Taylor and Antoinette Thank you for walking nicely be careful here Hobby Air Viola Jusva Science Lab James Panapa and Kailana writing in Panapa. Panapa, can we do a good job like we did the other day? And, and the eye scientists. So, on um, Vasa,
I like your drawing, Vasa. Very nice to use the whole space. And I think you want your name too, Vasa. Long, long, long. Tina, Tina. 